Touring is not easy, and being in a band is not easy. And while on tour, you still don't read books? Oh, I still read books on tour. Yeah. I read a lot of books on tour, actually. Um, right now, I'm reading uh, a book about uh, fo American football player. His name is Walter Payton. It's called Never Die Easy. He's one of my favorite football players. And I don't really always read autobiographical books, but this one's actually pretty good. So. Do you relate maybe just out of your to something that he's going through in his career that you have to go through now as well? I think so, because it's about sacrificing things and like leaving your home and leaving your comfort zone to actually accomplish something in life. And like, you know, he was never the most popular football player. We were never the most popular band, but he kept going forward and, and persevered through everything. And I think that's what I can relate to, like at least my life or this band. So it's a good book to read, especially when you're on, when you're on the road and you're playing with seven other bands every night and you're trying to like stick out of those bands it's, it's a hard thing so i can imagine do you yeah. see it maybe compared to sport what you're doing uh, could you see it that way i don't know i think maybe i think there's ups and downs of music and touring and i think the same goes with sports you know sometimes you'll be the popular player and then sometimes you're the popular band and i think everything kind of goes like this and you got to kind of just stay like level-headed through it all just to get through all that because you're not always going to be the popular trendy band but you know you got to go through that and get to a place where you'll be like respected and, and sort of like a trademark have you been aware of trends maybe to earn that respect or you just ignore maybe that i try to ignore it it's it's hard to ignore it though because you know we've been a band for about 10 years now and um you know we see the trends come and go and and i think that's something that like you just got to kind of be like you know what we've seen it so we can't get disappointed that the new trend is not to be into something like bleeding through um, the new trend is something else and you know we've seen it come and go and we just kind of have to like say we're still doing what we do and all we could do is worry about what we're doing don't worry about other things because as a band you've already made some sort of we've made, already made a name for ourselves and we've gone through so many trends and bleeding through at one point was was the trend you know and now we're more like the older band and we've been around and established ourselves a little bit through that so and we know that a lot of bands that you know all have a lot of hype because of because they're one of the trend bands it's just they're going to disappear that's just what happens but do you think now maybe just in music generally maybe or um the trends become less important because everything is already like is there and it's so short it's not a revolutionary thing if there's a new band anymore yeah, now, there so isn't. do you uh, think maybe as a band that that that, that doesn't matter that much anymore i think that hype and hype matters a lot i think a lot of bands initially get really popular off of um hype that generated about them because even though they're not doing something that maybe you or i think is like revolutionary which i haven't heard a band in so long that i feel is like wow this band but other people do think those bands are revolutionary so they put them on this pedestal and i think it's not even about the music anymore it's about the name and it's about you know how many people you think are cool at a, at a, a concert wearing that band's t-shirt and you're like oh i want to listen to that band because that i think that person's cool have you maybe stepped away from that a little bit by also changing image in a way or um i mean as far as us like our 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 image is a little bit like has been like you know before we first started we were like very obsessed with like the misfits and stuff like that and stuff like that. and uh now we're still we still like you know, dress in black and it's still the same thing. But I think the image thing is, is a big thing with like, yeah, with trends here these days. It always starts with what kind of shoes you wear and what kind of haircut you have.